Hi there, Whimsy here. Today we're diving into the demo of the Berlin apartment, where we step into the shoes of a handyman tasked with refurbishing an old apartment in Berlin. As we uncover relics from the past, each discovery leads to a unique short story, blending different genres, atmospheres, and gameplay twists, all set within the same four walls. With a vibrant comic book art style, we'll explore beautifully detailed 3D environments as Berlin's rich and colorful history unfolds around us. All right, let's jump in. Once, it must have been the year 1989. A guy named Kolya lived here, but he wasn't doing well. Day in and day out, always the same chores. So, my dears, now I'll water you. Always remember, guys, if you have something that means something to you, never let it go. Oh, wow. It applies to you too, Isolde. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow, this is such a cool apartment. So, anyone still thirsty? I think this guy is. Let's see. And you, Richard? You're just as withered as I am. Us two, always waiting our turn, never making a fuss. Work in the morning, home in the evening. To hell with it. We're better than that. <laughs> I love that he has names for all of his plants. This is so cool, guys. Look at this. And then, oh my gosh, I didn't see this, the little loft up there. I would love this little apartment. Sorry, I'm trying to get a... Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Okay, let's see. This guy over here, it looks like he needs some water. Yes, you too, Clara. What do you think? Who? Mirko? No. My disappearing housemate still hasn't brought it back. His letter must be still in the mail. <laughs> Sorry. The idea is just too funny for me. But don't worry. I'm not like Mirko. I won't abandon you. None of you is dying on my watch. <laughs> Definitely a plant dad. Um, okay, and then Mirko must be a roommate. So... I'm not seeing anyone else that needs water. Don't worry, my dears. I'll take care of you now. And I don't know if you guys noticed his band-aid with like <laughs> the flower and the heart. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can go up here. All of those guys look good. Maybe we go check this room out. I believe in integrity and loyalty. I don't shirk my responsibilities, unlike some people. Okay. I thought they were supposed to look like that. So I did try them earlier and they did not grow. So I thought maybe... I thought maybe they just looked like that, but just kidding. Uh, what the... I think I'm seeing ghosts. Go in there in one second. I just kind of want to look out here. Cool. Okay. Wow, what a cool apartment. Okay, so there was something flew in here. Eric, you little snitch. Did you see anything? No, nothing yet. Nothing at the window either. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Who's Eric? Uh, is that the fish? <laughs> okay, so something. What is this? It wasn't a ghost after all. Something really did flutter in. A paper plane with writing on it. What is this? Airmail from the West? Did Mirko leave the window open when he left? Or was it me? Last week. Hmm. Hey, you there. Your orchid's head is hanging very low. So's yours. Do you maybe need some water? 
or someone to talk to? Ah, there's a telephone number. And there's more. Greetings from the other side? They're asking if I need someone to talk to, Eric. Someone actually went through the trouble of throwing a paper aeroplane over the wall. Over the wall! Then it lands in the hands of the biggest loser east of the west. Don't be so hard on yourself, comrade. At least you're reliable at consistently failing. Oh, thank you. Very empathetic, Eric. There's a phone number here. Do you know what that means? Based on the area code, this number is from the other side. In other words, a fascist number. Calling it would be an incredibly stupid idea. Thanks for the assessment, Eric. Oh, I never knew there were so many ways to fold a piece of paper. I'm choosing this model. Looks like it's the easiest. Oh, what should I even write? Ooh. Old. Am I supposed to be writing something? Okay, so... Alright, let's see. Hello, mysterious stranger. Thank you for your letter. I'm afraid water alone won't be enough. At least, not for me. The orchid is not actually an orchid. It is, in fact, a toad lily. <laughs> My old housemate left it behind along with me. No, I better leave out that part. <laughs> okay. Somehow, I now feel like I'm being watched. Who are you, anyway? Best wishes, Collier. Now make a fold here. Another one here. Here. This is so cool. And kids are supposed to be able to do this? Mirko's niece couldn't have done any better herself. Alright, I think that's it. Oh, knowing my luck, no one's going to read it anyway. Truth. One side's turned out a bit wonky. I hope it doesn't affect the aerodynamics. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Look at this. This is so cool. So that's where we're going. Uh, I need to open the. Oh, duh, I have to go over here. Idiot. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Kolya. And how exactly are you going to stop me, Eric? What now? <laughs> okay. So he's concerned. Oh, yeah, okay, so the Berlin Wall. Okay, so let's... Okay, here we go. Now, just to aim it correctly. Whoa, whoa. Here it goes. Oh no. <laughs> I would have been surprised if I'd gotten it right the first time. <laughs> okay, it must be a. Uh... Maybe inverse. So I was pulling up. Okay, hold on. Maybe we'll try up and it'll be easier to go down. There we go. Oh no. Stranded in no man's land.
There we go. Eric, you did it! Okay. You actually did it! Dad, you've told the story already. Oh, really? Um, let me think. Um, there's more where that came from. <laughs> okay, so intuitively that was kind of hard. What you would think would be going up actually went down, so it was kind of reverse. Okay, so this is what? In the 30s? The telephone. That must be Esther. Oh wow, look at this. The phone. There we go. Yosef? Esther? I am on my way now. Once I arrive, come down to the street when I sound my horn. Must we? Really? I am old, Esther. And I do not feel like making such a long journey. I know, Yosef. But we have no other choice. Take your time. I will be waiting. Have you packed yet? I really don't know what I should pack, Esther. Do not worry, Josef. We made a list together, remember? It should be next to the telephone. Yes, I have it here. Thank you, Esther. What would I do without you? Pack your things. Until then, Josef. Warm jacket, passport, lucky shoes, grandfather's pocket watch, razor, journal, and maybe my treasured camera. Where should I even begin? All right. This little book holds the telephone numbers of my friends and acquaintances. So many of them have already left. Okay, so I guess that's not a journal. Wow, look at this. Uncle Benjamin, with the twins. A shame we lost contact with each other. My parents on their wedding day. I am glad that they don't have to experience any of what's going on here. Hmm. She cannot hear me. I've barely moved. Miss Hanneman, she doesn't say hello anymore, but she's not above that sort of thing. Hmm. Oh. Der Raubmord am Spandauer Schifffahrtskanal bei Berlin. One of the first movies that wanted to tell a story instead of just reflecting reality. This is cool, too. What a cool office. Okay, so what do we have here? Ariane, a Russian girl by Claude Anne. The adventurous Ariane leads a wild life beyond virtue. Men fall at her feet. She meets Constantine and both of them try to stop falling in love with each other. Unsuccessfully, I can say that much. I always said to Esther, Who? The telephone? Who could it be? Hello? To whom am I speaking? Is anybody there? They just hung up. This has been happening for a few weeks now. Hmm. Okay, that book wouldn't let me <laughs> just get it back to the 
front the front of it so sorry about all the turning okay my 1932 tax return. For once, something I won't miss. Okay, I don't really want to bring that on a trip. Let's see. Oh, you can pull out all of these. Cool. A young writer sent me this screenplay. I liked him. But the script was, well, uh, never mind. It is terrible, but his passion for writing impressed me. A uh, young Oops, writer shit. sent me this screenplay. I liked him, but the script was, well, uh, never mind. It is terrible, but his passion for writing impressed me. He must be in the movies. He must make movies, maybe? The Trial by Franz Kafka. I once met Kafka at Askanischer Hof Hotel and I wanted him to sign my book. Well, it didn't seem like a good time. Sometimes it's better not to meet your idols. The Road Back by Erich Maria Remar. Soldiers tried to return home after the Great War. Luckily, I was already so old back then that I was spared any of that. Okay, so we have not found anything on our list yet. Let's see. A tidy desk is a desk that isn't being worked at. Here it is, the diary. I no longer have any idea what these keys unlock. But you don't throw keys away. So I've collected them here. Okay, so one of these will open this guy. So let's see. What one would make the most sense? Maybe... Let's try this one. No, let's try this one. The key fits. Perfect, yeah. My old journal. I stopped writing in it after this entry. The most painful day of my life. Remember. That was a cool way to show that memory. Okay. RB to rotate. Oh, cool. You get to actually pack it. I love that. Okay, so let's see. I guess let's put it right here. I should continue to write in my journal to document my travels. Do I really need to take along keys and contracts when I'll no longer be needing them? I should definitely take my passport with me. However, I can also gather everything up first and then see what fits. Just a few items left. Okay, so lucky shoes and camera. Looks like I have everything else. What is that? Are there keys in here? Three of five. Interesting. Oh, collectibles. Okay. I have a distinguished Pinot Gris from 1928. It isn't kosher, though, but nobody needs to know. Is that a fireplace? Is that how they, like, heat the apartment? That's cool. Lucky shoes and camera. Okay, so none of that will be in here, but 
just kind of want to take a look around. My first cinema ticket. It was Der Raubmord am Spandauer Schifffahrtskanal in 1896. The Edison Theater on Friedrichstraße. I knew straight away that that was the life for me. Hmm. Cool. Uh-oh, she here? Esther. That must be her. Uh-oh. Hopefully no one noticed. I'll be down soon, Esther. Give me a few more minutes. Yeah, I still need to grab all my stuff. Oh, there's my... This must be my lucky shoes. My lucky shoes could be in there. But I can't reach. There we go. <laughs> Cute. I love those. My lucky shoes. All shoes are always the most comfortable to wear, though they could do with some new soles. So there, that's nice. Okay, let's do that. I'm taking my lucky shoes with me. I'm going to need some luck. Hmm? Oh no. Twenty twenty, dang, that's a jump. Dad? Dad? Just a minute, sweetie. Okay, I'll be right there. Only this one floorboard now. Mm, that would be cool to find, right? <laughs> what have we got here? This was from the one of the photographs, right? Hmm. This should be redone. Lots of little glass pieces. That's strange. Okay, so this is where we're back, like, present day, I think, and this is the repairman. Hmm. This should be redone. Okay. What else am I supposed to do here? Lots of little glass pieces. That's strange. Oh, back. Okay. Wow, so this is just completely, wow, completely damaged now. Dang. I'll leave this work by an unknown artist until the very end. <laughs> Maybe Lily will help me with the paint. I'm done for today. Hmm, okay. Can I open this? Oh yeah, it doesn't want us to go over there. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, look at us. <laughs> we have like a little stuffed toy hanging from his belt. That's so cute. I think he does have a little bunny or something. <laughs> it's pretty rotten. I wouldn't even touch it with pliers. Yeah, I wonder if someone was like living in here. Let's see. Oh, what's this? Oh, wow. Some things are like a 
silent witness to the past. That's cool. Okay. All right. Everything I find here kind of tells a story. Is that from the plant guy? <laughs> can we go in here? Looks like we can. Okay, so he's done more work in here. Look at this. It's starting to look really nice. Oh yeah, here we go. Paper airplane. I discovered this little paper plane behind some more paper. Yeah, so he's finding like all of the some random items from the people who lived in here. It doesn't want me to go over there, it looks like. Okay, cool. Time to call it a day. I should get down. Oh, <laughs> cut out. Okay, so that is it. Wow. I can't wait to kind of just discover more of the stories of the people who lived in that apartment. Such a cool concept. So cool. And I don't know if these are actual like concept boards that we're seeing right now too. So we might be able to see just a bunch of different really cool apartments in the full release. So yeah, this game just came out with its first demo. So if this game looked cool to you, definitely go check that out and, and give the game a review. I really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys did too. Let me know by giving the, the video a like or comment below. And with that guys, I will see you in the next one.